Good morning everyone. Today we are going to start with Max. Before moving on to your unit 1 topics, we will be seeing what you have learnt in your prep 2. So you can see here numbers from 1 to 100. You all have learnt numbers from 1 to 100, right? So we are going to revise that. Even you have learnt about number names. Here you can see on the one side there are some numbers and on another side there are number names. So what we are going to do is we'll identify the numbers with their number names. What is the first number? The first number is 5. So we have to identify its number name. That is F I V E. See the next number. The next number is 12. T W E L V E. The next number it is 15. F I F T E E N. See the next one. It is 25. T W E N T Y F I V E. The next number, it is number 6. S I X. The next number, it is number 13. The number name is T H I R T Y. So these are their numbers with their number names. The next one. The next one is about odd numbers and even numbers. So which are odd numbers? Numbers that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. You have learned odd numbers till 20. If I say number 11. So 11 ends with number 1. Number 13 ends with number 3. Next one, 15, it ends with number 5. Then 17, it ends with number 7. 19, it ends with number 9. So odd numbers are numbers that ends with 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So, next one, which are even numbers? Numbers that ends with 0, 2, 4, 6, 8. Let's take number 10. 10 ends with number 0. 12. It ends with number 2. 14. It ends with number 4. 16. It ends with number 6. 18. It ends with number 8. 20. It ends with number 0. You can see two groups of stars. So we have to find which group has odd number of stars and which group has even number of stars. So in the first group how many stars are there? One, two, three. Is three an odd number or an even number? It's an odd number. So the first group is an odd number. See the second group. How many stars are there? One, two. So there are two stars. Is two an odd number or an even number? It is an even number. So in the second group, there are even number of stars. Next we are going to see about ascending order, descending order. So ascending order. Order from numbers from smallest to biggest. Num for example, numbers from 1 to 15. It is in which order? It is in ascending order because it starts with number 1 that is the smallest number and it ends with the 15 which is the biggest number. So ascending order it starts with smallest to biggest. So next is descending order. It is from biggest to smallest. 
Let's take the same example. Numbers from 50 to 1. It is in which order? It is in descending order. We start with 50. That is the biggest number. And we end with number 1, which is the smallest number. So descending order is in the order biggest to smallest. Now I'll give you some numbers and you have to say it in ascending order and descending order. So the numbers are 23, 40, 9, 5. So first we are going to order them in ascending order. So ascending order which number comes first? The smallest number that is 5. Then after 5, 9. After 9, 23. Then 40. Can we arrange the same numbers in descending order? In descending number, which number comes first? The biggest number, that is number 40. Then number 23. Then 9. And then 5. This is about ascending order and descending order. Let's see about addition. So what is addition? Adding something. You are adding. So the sign we use in addition is plus. So can you see the first example? In the first group, there are two apples. Plus, you are adding one more apple. So total how many apples you have? There are two apples in the first group. Plus one more apple in the second group. So two plus one, that is three. So we see the next one. In the first group, there are three balloons. Plus, in the second group, how many balloons are there? There are two balloons. So adding three balloons plus two balloons, that is three plus one, four. 4 plus 1, 5. So total how many balloons are there? There are 5 balloons. Next you have learnt about multiplication tables. We have learnt the table of 2, table of 5 and table of 10. Now we are going to revise the, revise the table together. So we will start with table 2. So 2 ones are 2. 2 twos are 4, 2 threes are 6, 2 fours are 8, 2 fives are 10, 2 six are 12, 2 sevens are 14, 2 eights are 16, 2 nines are 18 and 2 tens are 20. So the next table is table of 5. 5 ones are 5. 5 twos are 10. 5 threes are 15. 5 fours are 20. 5 fives are 25. 5 six are 13. 5 sevens are 35. 5 eights are 40. 5 nines are 45. 5 tens are 15. So we'll see the next one. It is the table of 10. So 10 ones are 10. 10 twos are 20. 10 threes are 30. 10 fours are 40. 10 fives are 50. 10 six are 60. 10 sevens are 70. 10 eights are 80, 10 nines are 90 and 10 tens are 100. So this is about the multiplication tables. Next you could have learnt about place values. So there are one digit numbers and two digit numbers. So one digit numbers are from 0 to 9 and two digit numbers are from 10 to 99. In two digit numbers, there will be two numbers. So each number has its own position. So how do we calculate 
place value. So we always calculate place value from its right. That is from its ones place. For example, let us look at number 5. I have written it as number 0, 5. So, the right digit always comes in ones place and the left digit always comes in tens place. Let's see number 5. So, 5 is in which side? It is in right side. So, it comes in which place? Right, right place, that is in ones place. So, we'll write 5 in ones place. Then next is 0. 0 has no value. If 0 comes before any number, it has no value. Here the 0, is, zero comes before number 5. So, 0 has no value. So, let's see one more example. Let's take number 6. So, we told we always calculate place value from its right. That is from its ones place. Let's look at number 6. So, the right digit will always comes in ones place and uh, left digit will always comes in tens place. See number 6. 6 is in which position? It is in right. So, we'll write 6 in ones place. The value of number 6 is ones. But 0 has no value. So, this is about place value. In coming classes, you will be learning more about place values with two-digit numbers. That's all for today. I hope you all revised what you have learned in your prep 2. Thank you.